Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about how to create a movie ticket booking app using Python and MySQL connectivity. Okay, so here in Python we are just writing the program. So as it is a front end, we are just writing the program here and even the users will see only your Python programming. Okay, so that's why we are calling that as a front end and your MySQL will work as a backend because only for da database storage purpose we are using that that will be working only in the background so we are calling that as a background okay so now in python we are going to use this module mysql.connector okay so this is the module which is going to connect your two different softwares which is python and mysql to connect these softwares we are using the module mysql.connector okay and then i'm importing random module random module is used to create random numbers okay so that is used here um, in creating the member id okay next we are going to use the create database query okay so as i said earlier we are going to connect these two so that's why we have installed um we have imported mysql.connector sql is a variable okay and i'm writing the query create database movie okay so movie is my database name and usually we used to give create database and database name and here you could see a new variable new uh, value new uh, query called if not exist okay which means if the database movie is already available no need to create it okay so that's that is the meaning of this if not exist and you could see this for all the database and tables okay so why is it needed oh, first time when I, i'm writing a program in python i'm running this so if i get error in the program i will uh, rectify the error and i will rerun so when you do the rerun it will show you an, an error stating that the database is already exist to avoid that when you run a multi multiple times in the same system okay so you will be using this okay so next uh, here uh, I, I left this so here you are using host is equal to localhost user id and password usually when you try to enter mysql it will ask you for the id and password okay so that is what we are giving here to the mysql using the connect function so that python can enter into mysql okay and then here i'm just printing the message database created successfully this is an optional message if you don't want it you can remove it even okay and then uh, we are say, giving the statement like use movie use that particular database and then we are creating many tables the first table called cust that is details of the customer which has name phone number of tickets sex first name last name email and then mode of payment okay these are all the things we are going we are, these are all the fields we are going to have in our customer table and then we are going to have bill customer id movie name amount and then bill to customer id movie name amount and then we have for silver for silver screen we are going to have this table and for theater name phone number number of tickets so whatever we had in customer we are having again here and imax and 4dx so these are all the table names we are going to have here okay so that's all we have created the database and the table now we are moving into the program okay so first you are printing thunder theater booking and so name of your theater is thunder theater if you wanted to change it you can change even and do you want to check the show details yes or no when the type is here i'm giving both capital letters and small letters okay and you are printing star for 150 times no no need to print for 150 times this 80 times is enough okay So this is your wish you can give any number okay um and then you are printing show details then select shows so you are giving three options for the user to select morning show noon show and then night show when they select a that is morning show you are giving the show timing and the movies which is being displayed on the screen when they select b you are showing the um, show timing and then movie details and then when they are selecting c which means the night show show time and then movie details okay so these are all the things you are displaying on the screen and then you are asking the customer to enter the details customer details okay so or whatever uh, fields we had in our customer table we are collecting all those things okay and we are storing everything in the customer table okay so and then you are displaying the member id here you are using this random okay so within a thousand one thousand you are just um selecting any one number you and you are giving that number as a member id okay. so next screen selection so you are giving three options for uh, gold 
IMAX and then silver and you are displaying even the price. When they select one that is gold, you are giving the details to details of the movie. You are getting the details of the movie and complimentary snack, drink, all those details. And you are inserting those values into 4DX. And then you are displaying the message ticket book. Okay. Then the second choice is for uh, IMAX. Okay. So you are getting the information from the user and you are storing those into the table IMAX. And you are displaying tickets booked and you enjoy the movie. Then they select number three. The same details you are getting from the user. Okay. And then ticket booked. And finally, thanks for visiting. Okay. And here in this program, we are not using any user defined function. All the functions are built in functions. Now, let us run this program. Okay. So it shows th Thunder ticket booking. And then Thunder Theater. Do you want the show details? I'm typing yes. So it shows the show details. So here only we have reduced to 80. And if, you, if, if it is 150, it should be there in the full screen. Okay. Uh, show details, morning, uh, noon, and then night show. I'm giving A for morning show. So it is showing the, uh, showing the movie details. Okay. <clears throat> now, movie name. Aquaman. And then phone number. And then total tickets. I need five tickets. And then enter your sex that is i'm entering as female then first name last name email id i just left a then mode of payment so i'm just selecting upi so type OK to generate one-time customer ID. So this is where we have used the random function. Okay. So I'm just typing OK. So here it is given as the member ID is 606 and I have to keep in mind. Okay. Now uh, screen and uh, seat booking. So after entering the details of the customer, it is giving the pr uh, price details. Okay. And I'm giving one now. Okay. Now it is entered into the gold uh, cinema booking. And then I'm entering the customer ID movie name number of tickets five otp so i'm just entering the same as otp and then whether you need a complimentary snack yes i'm giving chips and then coke for complimentary drink and then that's all your ticket has been booked enjoy your movie and have fun thanks for visiting so that's all this is how our program work and this is how the options work for all the options given here for the show details and for the ticket details okay so hope you understood this program we'll meet you in another video with new program thank you happy learning